This is Martin George, the education correspondent for the Eastern Daily Press and Norwich Evening News. And I'm with Andrew Cook, who's Ofsted's new regional director for the East of England. And I think you took up the post on December the 1st. That's correct, yes. So you've had a, a fairly short period to get to know the region and how our school's education is doing. Where do you think education stands in Norfolk at the moment? Well, it's, it's been a very busy two months and I've been trying to, to get to know as many people and uh, the situation across the region as, as quickly as possible. In terms of Norfolk, uh, I mean, it's, it's very clear that there, there has been some signs of, of improvement, but inevitably there's a, a long way to go. Uh, you know, we look at the percentage of schools that are, proportion of schools that are good or better, and, you know, we look at secondary schools and there's still, you know, nearly 40% of secondary schools that are still not yet good or better. So, you know, that, that really still raises some concerns for me. Uh, I also look at data and I look at data in terms of those who perhaps are the most vulnerable pupils in, in schools in Norfolk, looked after children, schools eligible for free school meals. And again, uh, whilst there may be some signs of improvement in some areas, there is still a long way to go before we see actually some good outcomes. Okay. So... Given that, what is Ofsted's priority for, for this region over the next six months, 12 months? What will you be focusing on? In terms of Ofsted's priorities, I mean, we, we need to ensure that we target our, our work in, in both in terms of our inspection and improvement work at, at, in localities where there are low proportions of good or better schools or where our, our pupil outcomes are most worrying for us. Um, and that will be maybe within areas within local authorities or particular local authorities. Uh, and, you know, we, we see this as a, a, a really a, some urgent work that need, needs to take place. Now, I think you'd, you'd seen we did a, a story earlier this month, um, a survey of Norfolk head teachers, and um, I think something like 74% said they didn't have confidence in the reliability of the judgment in Ofsted reports. Does that cause you, is that a cause of concern to you? I mean, it's, it's a concern that, that head teachers have that view. I mean, I, I'd have to say that, that generally Ofsted, in terms of its post-inspection surveys with head teachers, has a really high, and it's, I think it's about 91%, a very positive feedback from inspections. Um, and that's that's actually, actually, actually head teachers that have experienced Ofsted being in their school. Um, we're always working very hard to ensure that, uh, that we make sure that inspections are done robustly and rigorously, I suppose it's not a surprise in some times that Ofsted is not seen positively when inspectors are out there reporting without fear or favour. You know, and I would want inspectors to continue to do that. But I think if you talk to head teachers who have worked, for example, with HMI, Her Majesty's Inspectors, in schools that requires improvement, you talk to some of the head teachers that attended a recent maths uh, conference held in Norfolk, then in actual fact there are some really positive messages from heads that we're receiving about Ofsted and its work. Okay. Now I know um, uh, Ofsted can be very high accountability um, for schools and a lot of schools seem to spend a lot of time preparing for inspections or doing things they think Ofsted will want to see to help them get a good grade. Is that of concern to you? I think we, we I mean, recently we, we uh, published a, a document uh, which you can find on our website, which is sort of like, in, in a sense, a myth buster about Ofsted, because often you, you hear many stories that actually are just not true. You know, actually Ofsted uh, doesn't want schools to do all sorts of things that, that sometimes people feel that we do so. Um, I, I think Ofsted, is, Ofsted and, and its work is important, and, and inevitably schools will want to get it right. Uh, we would want schools to understand that we use our framework, our criteria, and when we get to a school we're there to determine to unpick uh, how well that school is working and get to the core of what actually makes it work to find out whether it is good or better. Okay, and I think a final question, I know some people have raised concerns that inspections seem to be very data-led. I think you believe that it's still important inspectors do go into the schools and data isn't the be-all and end-all of it. Yes, I think data is a, a really important starting point and inevitably, you know, we would want to talk to school leaders about their data and again to unpick it, you know, to find out whether school leaders know about whether, what their data tells them about the performance of looked after children, uh, in terms of children on free school meals and all other groups within the school as well. 
But inevitably, the job of an inspector is then to look beyond that data as well, to find evidence, to triangulate evidence, to come to secure judgments about how well the school is performing. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.